What is up YouTube and welcome to this Batman and Snyder Cut trailer video. We got a first look at the Batman costume and logo, which just look absolutely stunning. We also had a small, tiny teaser trailer for the Snyder Cut, which I will discuss at the end of the video. And really this is just a little small short video as we've had clips and news come out just before DC Fandom, which I am so very, very excited for. So it's just a small little amuse bouche before the main steak and eggs of DC Fandom. So the colours for the movie would of course be black and red. We first saw this with the first look at Battinson in the small clip that we actually had. We now get a full look at the Batman costume which looks absolutely stunning. The aesthetic of this movie sort of reminds me of the Batman and the White Knight storyline and comics, which I really, really love. I'm really getting that feel, that kind of down-to-earth, petrol head, kind of real gritty, based-in-reality Batman. We see him standing on a gargoyle, which looks so very, very cool and so very, very Batman. The first thing that stood out for me was actually his arms. He's wearing the same gauntlet as a Talon from the Court of Owls story arc. This is the same story arc that is going to be in the new Batman game. You can check that out. I've done a video on some of the leaks today, so go and, go and enjoy that after this if you want. And we know that he will be in his second year of being Batman, but interestingly, the red and black is very similar to that of Batman Year One. It's the same kind of thing that's on the trade paperbacks, but we know it's not going to be a Year One story. It's going to be an amalgamation of Year One, The Long Halloween, and many other storylines. He's also supposed to be a bit more of a detective than previous movie adaptations, which explains why The Long Halloween is a basis for this as he has to investigate the Holiday Killer, which I expect will be swapped out for the Riddler in this storyline. The logo is also a lot thinner. It's like they've had to cut off half of Batflake's logo, which I really liked, but it's rumored that the logo is actually based on the symbol in the movie that's on Battinson's suit, and that is supposed to be made from the gun of Joe Chill that actually killed Bruce's parents in, in Crime Alley. The logo for the Batman looks a lot grittier and edgier, so I expect it, like I said, to be a lot more grounded. While Nolan's movies did show a lot more basis in reality, it was just very, very over the top. Big action Bond-style sets, but I think they're going to dial it down here and focus on Bruce as being the world's greatest detective, just as the Joker focused on reality and the human condition. It is very based, very lower level kind of looking at the person, which I think is what's going to happen here. Mr. Reeves, of course, somehow managed to make Planet of the Apes down to earth and gritty, which means I have hope for him here to do a great job with this. The Batman poster just looks amazing, as does the logo. I really do feel they're going down this route a lot more following the success of the Joker, and they're going to have this a bit better kind of done. It's a nice kind of anti-MCU with big CGI battles. They will do that, of course, with things like Shazam, but I think we're going to get a real nice run of real artisan A24-style movies. And, well, next up, lastly, we have a small trailer for the Snyder Cut on Vero hyping up the panel at DC's Fandom this Saturday. I'm very excited about what we will see in the full trailer there. Presumably we'll see a Green Lantern as the Green Lantern was hinted at in the history lesson. And we will see the first proper look at Darkseid after Joss Whedon for somehow got rid of it. We open with Superman with a nice blue tint and I expect Snyder will clean up the return of Superman part. It's part of the movie I really didn't like. It felt rubbish, felt convoluted. And it just didn't flow very well. It's hopefully going to be a lot better here. Uh, we cut to another shot of Cyborg in his football days with a lot of these scenes actually cut. And Ray Fisher having a blood fluid with Joss Whedon. Snyder actually said how Stone is the heart of the movie and it is his origin. Hopefully we see a lot more of those movies and scenes that were actually cut. And I have no idea why all of these were actually cut. It is 
a real and total shame. Now we also see the team uniting to face Superman and that is it. Just a nice short little trailer here for you. Just like a short little video here giving you some updates on the world of DC. So let me know what you think in the comments. I'd love to hear what you think. Please do drop a like and please do subscribe with notifications on and I'll see you soon and goodbye.